Hi, my name's Evan Miller with TheEfficientLifestyle.com and number 17 in our video series in the Cigar Basics 101 is what happens if our cigars get left out of the humidor for longer or for a very short period of time or a longer period of time. Normally when you get your cigars from a cigar shop, they'll correctly uh, humidify it or it's going to be correctly humidified by the time you get it. And they should put it into some kind of cellophane, which will allow you to have an hour or two, possibly three hours, in order to get this cigar home and put it safely into your humidor. Now, one of the things I like to see, and if you're going to keep your cigars outside of humidation, is to put them into a Ziploc bag. One of my favorite things uh, from many of my cigar providers is the fact that they put them into individualized, shaped Ziploc bags for cigars. Uh, not everybody does this. I also, like I showed you earlier, like to have some of my cigars, if I'm keeping them outside of a humidor, and it doesn't matter, in glass. Now these are harder to find and very, 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 very wonderful, and very, very wonderful to have in your possession so you can take them anywhere for any amount of time, De to the deserts or to the to, to out skiing or anything like that. It's awesome. Now if you're carrying a whole bunch of your cigars or a series of cigars, and you want to take them along. A larger Ziploc tobacco bag is great. And also, if you can put a little bit of tobacco leaf that's been moistened inside of it, one of the best ways to actually keep the humidation of your bag for a period of time. You can take something for a couple of days in a Ziploc bag. Just make sure it stays out of the sun, stays in a cool spot inside of your vehicle or inside of a bag and protect it so you don't have any problems. Now, if for some odd reason, you actually leave your cigar out of humidification and you do not have it inside a cellophane, inside of a Ziploc bag. What will happen is your cigar has a very high probability, depending on your environment, of sucking out and becoming without the right humidity. Now, how do you recharge a cigar? One of the things you can do is it is possible to recharge a cigar, but normally it will take two to three times longer to recharge your cigar to the right humidity than it did to actually take the humidity out. So normally, put them back into the humidor, your primary humidor, let it sit in there for a couple of days, come back to normal, three, four, five days, whatever it takes, and then it should be fine. So when you're rehumidizing a cigar, let's just say you left it up for two days and it became very, very, you know, not as humid as it should be, it may take four, five, or six days to actually bring it back up. Now when you bring your cigars home, one of the things that when you're correctly rehumidizing or humidizing your cigar or putting them into your humidor, what you'll notice is that many of your boxes that your cigars will come in will come in with, sand, uh, with cedar dividers. And so you won't ever want to have cigars from different makers right next to each other. Unless, of course, you're okay with that tainting of one cigar against another. So one of the good things about that, uh, those cedar inserts and the cedar dividers inside of your large humidors is to make sure that your cigars are all wonderful in their own realm. Because the way that the master Cuban roller or the master roller made them in the first place is exactly how you want to keep Thanks for joining me here today. To view all 20 videos in our Cigar Basics series, go to LearnCigars.com and sign up. And we'll send you the entire collection free so you can expand your cigar knowledge. I'm Evan Miller with TheEfficientLifestyle.com, and let's not forget, life's a pleasure.